Hey, what's up? It's Hunter Nelson from Tortoise and Hair Software, and today we're going to be talking about five plus essential Google ad campaigns for your ad account. So let me pop over to the screen share here, and uh, we got a little blog commentary. Um, the full blog post will be linked in the YouTube description um, down below, so definitely check out this video on YouTube. Um, and you know just quickly you know Google Ads is a fantastic way to advertise um, on search engines and capture people when they are searching for exactly for what your brand offers um, but you do need to have a good account structure set up and that includes kind of a, a multi uh, campaign um, approach and let's talk about some of the kind of the three kind of campaigns that like everyone really needs. Um, the first of those is a branded search campaign and um, I've written a separate blog post about the um, importance of branded searches campaigns um, but in general people are going to search for your brand by numerous kind of aliases and a lot of times your website's not really going to rank for all of those aliases um, especially not in the top spot so it's good to kind of have a branded search campaign to capture uh, all the aliases and then also kind of variant terms so people might search for like your brand dash reviews your brand competitors your brand alternatives your brand um, support um, various things like that so branded search campaigns are a good way to make sure that you're appearing at the top of the results and then also redirect them to the appropriate page for that branded search query you know, you don't want to send people researching competition to your support page, and you don't want to send people searching for your brand plus a support qualifier to a competitor comparison page. So um, definitely good to have one of those to make sure that you're plugging the um, leaks in the funnel of your most engaged customers on search engines, which is going to be those branded searchers. Um, it's also important for defending um, competitive position because competitors will advertise on your brand name and they get to do that for a very low cost if you are not advertising on your brand terms. So drive up their costs, increase your quality scores, and um, get a branded search campaign rolling in your account. Now the next uh, step of those of these campaigns or kind of the next of the essential campaigns is going to be a display remarketing campaign and a display remarketing campaign is going to be where you're browsing on one website and you're shown an ad for um, on another website um, that kind of tries to bring those people back to your website um, so most news publishers um, in kind of uh, larger publications are going to have ads within their content that allows you to as the advertiser to show your display ads within the content of um, your uh, within their the publishers content and I know this website is a gaming website that I frequently visit um, and they usually have ads so right here this is a display remarketing ad. If we refresh the page, maybe it'll show us a different one here. Yep, there you go. So that's these display remarketing ads are a chance for you to put your brand in one of these slots. There's various different formats, horizontal, square, text ads, all sorts of different places your ads can um, appear. Um, but this is kind of an example of a display remarketing ad. The next of those is going to be a search remarketing campaign and similar to how display remarketing campaigns allow you to get in front of people after they've left your website to um, show them your offer and bring them back um, uh, via a display ad, this allows them allows you to capture their attention when they go and do a Google search and they're in your remarketing audience. And I love search remarketing campaigns because you can cast a much wider net for people who have already qualified themselves than going after cold traffic. Um, 
you know, for instance, for a prospecting campaign, I'll usually have very narrow focus on um, the types of search terms to make sure that we're bringing in people that are like very qualified and we're going to be a lot more confident in their um, propensity to convert and become a customer or subscribe to the email list or whatever the goal is for your prospecting campaign um, but then once we've got them initially into that remarketing audience we can broaden the search terms significantly so for instance somebody searching for Google Ads in a prospecting campaign I might only bid on like Google Ads company people searching for that specific phrase so but once I know that they've um, qualified themselves by searching specifically for a company that does Google Ads I'll broaden that to um, all sorts of different you know terms like Google Ads services you know Google Ads company Google Ads agency Google Ads marketing firm Google Ads uh, campaign types you know just cast a much wider net with those remarketing campaigns you can be much more confident in spending money on those wider terms whereas that can really eat up your budget and be a waste of time in a prospecting capacity um, so the, these three campaigns are what I would consider kind of the, you gotta have these, every business can benefit from these, and um, you know, if you, if you have a small budget, use it on these. Don't, don't go after prospecting campaigns with a small budget. Um, you know, because you can maximize your spin and get a lot better results by just helping people move down that funnel. Because the middle funnel is, quite frankly, a lot where a lot of people struggle. Um, but you know if you've kind of maxed out impression shares and um, there's really not much more to spend on on these campaigns which if you get put together a successful advertising program you're going to want to spend more than these campaigns can offer you at some point and that's when you're gonna branch out into those top of funnel and or kind of like prospecting campaigns um, so some top of funnel uh, campaigns that are um, you know productive and I see on some of the uh, larger accounts that I've worked on is a competitors campaign um, so similar to how you want to have a you know brand and search campaign a lot of times especially as you like move up market um, it's gonna turn into a more oligopolistic scenario where you realistically only have two to three competitors um, you know maybe five or something like that in a, a when you start going after larger contracts and things like that so um, in a lot of ways you start competing in a fixed market um, so there's only a certain amount of demand to go around amongst a small number of competitors and in that scenario you've got to start taking the heat more directly to your competitors as a small business um, or a lower revenue company usually this isn't uh, as directly relevant to you um, but definitely as you get to be a larger company but you know competitors campaigns can definitely help um, direct some customers who are still in that consideration phase and are looking between competitors um, to consider your brand or you know can also help steal the occasional disgruntled customer um, but yeah competitors campaigns can be very productive there's some ways to make sure that you don't run up your budget um, by bidding on the wrong people on your competitors campaigns um, but you know that's a little bit more of an advanced topic next kind of uh, essential campaign you can think of is an upstream suppliers campaign so for instance you know we sell Google Ads we sell SEO we sell um, web development things like that so in the in a marketing capacity our upstream suppliers would be things like Google Analytics Google Tag Manager Google Ads WordPress um, you know stuff like that uh, HTML CSS um, and you want in like an IT company for instance um, an upstream supplier would be like Microsoft Office 365 or Microsoft Azure or um, Cisco or you know some of those um, you know partners or upstream suppliers that you're using in the um, fulfillment of the work that you do and they're things that your customers are going to be using and searching for terms related to those so definitely go f and take a look at what sort of traffic and conversions that you can get via an upstream suppliers campaign and bid on terms related to those um, so that's a that's a really good one 
And then kind of the uh, next one, once you um, continue to expand your advertising program, is just those manually selected keywords. Um, so these are where you got to research and identify which ones. There will be some testing that needs to be done. Um, and you start moving into more advanced tactics with scaling a Google Ads account. Um, but uh, you know, those are kind of the last step um, and uh, come with a lot more challenges when you go into the great cold wide open internet for your advertising programs. Um, so I recommend doing some of these other campaign types first, but eventually if your advertising program is successful, you'll get to um, these prospecting campaigns. Um, so that's it. Definitely go check out the uh, blog post here, get some more information. Um, there's a little more color that's not in the video. Um, and let us know if you have any questions, comments, feedback in the video comments here below. We'll be happy to answer them. Um, go visit us out here at tortoiseandhairsoftware.com, learn more about our services, and don't forget to subscribe if you're watching this video on YouTube. And uh, thanks for watching, and until next time.